this song is for you. You can't wear it on your chest, but you can feel it in your heart. And I hope it brings you comfort when this world grows dark. Let it echo through the madness, let the message pull you through. This is our medal of honor to you. Now back to Armed Forces Weekly with Donna Lyons on TSPN. Welcome back. I am with Gina Woods, who is one of my dearest friends, but does the most amazing things for children in hospitals, and actually would like to branch it out to military service members. She's also a marine mom, an author, and one of the funniest people I know. <laughs> Gina, to, and this is Owie, by the way. Tell us how Owie got started. Tell, me, tell the viewers the story behind Owie. Okay, well, there's really only one story, so it's real simplistic. <laughs> I always tell you that, right? Yeah. Um, in 1989, actually, down in Sacramento, I was hospitalized, and I had surgery, and after my surgery, they had no room for me in the adult ward, so they put me, you know, in with a child. And on the third day, after when I was recovering, I happened to notice that there was a little girl in the bed next to me that didn't have anybody. You know, nobody came to see her. And in the afternoon, this nurse came in and brought her the stuffed plush little dog. Well, the little girl took one look at it, took it, and chucked it across the room. Well, being that I had three small kids, you know, at home, I've never seen my kids ever throw, throw a toy, especially one in the hospital. So I got out of my bed, and I went over to the corner, and I picked up the toy, and I brought it back to her. And I sat down on her bed, and I looked at her, and I said, Honey, what's wrong? And she said, It's not mine. It's broken. And like I told you the other day, every time I tell the story, it's like I, I go back to that moment, you know? Yeah. And so I looked at its ear, and sure enough, its ear was ripped. You know, I looked at it, and its ear was ripped. And all of a sudden I looked over and there happened to be gauze laying next to her bed. So I took the gauze and I started to wrap it, you know, around the little dog's ear and I handed it back to her. But as I was handing it back to her, I said, honey, it's not broken. He has an owie like you. It's your owie bow owie. Oh. <laughs> and I loved it. <laughs> So she ended up keeping it? Oh, she loved it. So she took it, and she started playing with it, and she would rewrap the bandage, and she really got into it. You know, it became a real toy for her. But in the afternoon, the nurse came in, and so I called her over to my way, and I said, hey, can you please tell me about that little girl? You know, three days I've been here, and nobody has come to see her, and she had brain surgery. She had brain cancer. Oh, my gosh. And um, she said, well, Gina, she's a ward of the state. You know, she doesn't have any visitors. And then she said this. She said, a lot of times when children are wards of the state and they go through something tremendous like this, their care, the people that are actually fostering them use it as daycare. Now, I'm not saying all people are that way, but uh, there's a lot of people that actually drop off the kids at the hospital when they're getting their care and then pick them up when they're done. So they don't get any visitors because right. a lot of these people have a lot of other foster kids at home. And um, through the years, as I would end up being hospitalized, I would actually be asked to be put near the children and with time I learned that 20 million children a year are hospitalized with a life-threatening illness and 8 million of them don't have any family or friends who are able to visit them and that's why that's so I sad. started creating Owie Bow Owie. And how, tell us the story, how it works um, as far as a child getting Owie. What do they need to do? Okay, well, this is actually Owie. Mm -hmm. So he actually, um, somehow I was playing with the other bandit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I gave it to, to a child this weekend, Came my on. granddaughter, yeah. <laughs> but he um, actually comes with a removable bandage, which is on little Owie, so I can show you. So big Owie is the same as little Owie. So he comes with a removable bandage that the uh -huh. kids can play with. And then he's got this one that's permanent. He's got an um, owie on his bum, you know, so the kids can know. <laughs> they know it's owie. Yeah, they know it's owie. He also comes with a blanket that says a friend for life's owies. And then he's delivered in this nice little carrying case. Right. Which says a friend's for life's owie. And then we're also putting together a book called um, It's Pup Talks for Life's Owies. And then when, how do people go about making sure a child gets one of these? What do they need to do? All they have to do is buy a little owie. Okay. Yeah, because for every 12 owies that we sell, we call it a Barker's Dozen, one <laughs> big owie is donated to a hospitalized child. And you can only get a big owie if you're in the hospital. Okay. So it makes them special. Okay. And then is there a website? 
Yes, you can go to I love Owie, O W I E dot org. Okay, and then that's where people can purchase the little Owies. Yes, they can. And help a child get one of these. There are so many children that, that uh, need these. I mean, this is just so beautiful. Thank you so much. I mean, you know, you. you have my heart. I just think he's <laughs> the most precious. We are going to go to a quick break. And when we come back, we are going to talk to Gina a little more about Owie and also her book, <laughs> Onward by Faith, which is hilarious. And we need to talk about this. So we will go to a commercial break and um, we will be right back. Lovely. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. Welcome back to Armed Forces Weekly. I am Donna Lyons, and I'm here with Gina Woods, who is one of my dearest friends, and we just got done talking about Owie Bow Wowie, um, this special little dog. Um, you have talked about bringing this to Walter Reed, and you've actually started the process of speaking to people to bring um, Owie into some of the wounded soldiers or maybe even their children. What's the game plan with that? I mean, where would you like that to go? You know what? I'm really trying to showcase that even tough guys get Owies. Yeah. You know, and I know my son was a Marine, you know, and I was one of the lucky moms that got him back in one piece. But I know so many moms who haven't. And I think one of the hardest things that has a mom that I've heard over and over again is that you get that initial call that something's been happened to your, you know, something yeah. happened to somebody that you love, your child, your husband, you know. But as a mom, your first instinct is, I got to get there. You know, and when I read all these stories, the first things the mom say is, I couldn't get there. I wasn't there to greet them, to be there for them. And so with Owie, what I want to try to start doing is having Owie there for them when they get there with a positive message, you know, so that they know that people are thinking of them, that, that, that they're tough guys, but they still need a hug. Yeah, they need a hug. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Because it's important. And, you know, you need a hug that makes you smile. You know, not something, yeah, sometimes we get so deep, you know, and, and people don't know what to say or do to somebody that's been injured or hurt yeah. or a gold star mom. You know, I get that all the time. What do you say to somebody that's lost somebody? You know, you can actually give them an owie, you know. Yeah, you not don't say know anything. what to say. You don't have to let him say it for right. you, you know, because love is a gift. It's just showing up when somebody needs something. That's all it is. And unfortunately, sometimes we tend to go the other direction, you know. And right. I think that's what I want, you know, those that get Owie. Like I said to my partner the other day, you only get Owie when you need him, when right. you want one, when you need an Owie. You know what I'm saying? Until then, he's a real hard thing to understand. So that's right. what we're trying to do. We're trying to use him as the universal language of love, right. you know. And do you, I also want to talk about your book. Because okay. <laughs> this is, real quick, I want to show the book to everybody, Onward by Faith. Um, Gina, b believe it or not, this beautiful, gorgeous little thing next to me used Shut to be up. a pig <laughs> farmer and had a ranch and all kinds of animals. But she wrote a book. Um, it's kind of like a diary of a marine mom. Your diary? Yeah, I actually wrote it. My kids call it my Sex in the City book. <laughs> they really do because it was actual stories that I wrote on a website called Marine Moms Online. Because when the war broke out, all of us moms, marine moms, we just gathered there. And it's pretty depressing when your son, you know, joins boot camp. You don't know what to expect. So that was an amazing place. So MMO, it's, it's Marine Mom Online. Go look for it for any marine moms because it's an amazing place, you know, to go to. Right. And um, the book is funny. Thank you. I mean, I think it's hilarious. You tell <laughs> some really funny stories in here. And how can people get the book? Um, they can actually go to onwardbyfaith.com. Okay, and um, they can just purchase this. It's actually a great gift, too. I think it would be a great gift for people. I want to thank you so much for coming on. You are just one of my dearest oh, friends, thank and you. I'm blessed to know you, <laughs> and I'm blessed to have Owie. And um, tune in next week, uh, Armed Forces Weekly. We have Courtney coming on, and she is the one who created the Wounded Veteran Run, and her brother is a wounded warrior at Walter Reed, and she's going to come tell her story. Thank you for tuning in, and God bless, and we will see you next week. This song is for you